Okay, good afternoon, grade nines. Uh, I've put together these few slides for you just to help you um, with your revision and also to prepare for the test uh, coming on Tuesday. Um, this particular topic I'm covering deals with height indicators on topographical maps. All right, uh, we need to know how height is indicated on a topographic map, okay? All right, um, moving along. So there are, f there are four ways in which height is indicated and uh, there was a question in your task sheet uh, or shall I say your worksheet which asked you um, to identify four ways in which height is indicated on a topographical map. Now um, the four ways are as follows. First of all, um, height is indicated by way of um, a spot height then by a trigonometric or beacon, uh, otherwise known as a trig beacon or more commonly known as a, known as a trig beacon. Height is also indicated by um, contour lines, which is your third bullet point here. And then lastly, um, also indicated by color or shading. All right. Now, each of these particular ways in which um, height is indicated um, is attached to a symbol and the symbol you must know in order to identify um, the height indicator on the map so I'll take you uh, there quickly all right so the first symbol which is used on a topographic map to indicate height is your spot height indicator which is uh, simply a black dot um, with a number next to it the number indicates um, the height above sea level and the unit of measure for the height is meters okay please don't forget that unless it is otherwise indicated on the map your um, number or your unit of measure refers to um, meters above sea level okay your second um, symbol for height as a height indicator is your is a triangle which indicates your trig beacon all right uh, with the trig beacon you will have two numbers attached to it one number will be to the top end of the of the triangle and the other to the bottom end of the triangle as you can see here and you have also picked up in your worksheet so the top number refers to uh, the trig beacon station number okay that number has not nothing to do with the height above sea level the height of above sea level is indicated by in this case here, 167,5 meters above sea level. All right. So just remember for trig beacons, there are two values attached. Uh, the top value is your beacon station number and your bottom value is the height above sea level in meters. Then your third way in which height is indicated is the number that is attached to um, or written typed or printed on the contour line itself okay so in this case here as you can see where my red arrows are pointing to we have a height above sea level of 300 meters and a height above sea level of 200 meters okay so now you should be able to answer uh, question four of activity two which is asking you to draw the symbols okay uh, of the height indicators on a topographic map. Now, in terms of the shading or the color, which will be your fourth way, um, that is a little trickier. There you would have to draw a series of contour lines and shade the spaces in between. All right, but don't worry too much about that one. Okay, our most important ones are the ones I indicated above your spot height, your trig beacon, and your contour lines. Okay. Over here is a uh, section of a topographic map, and I've just um, created this slide to indicate to you or to show you exactly how it is indicated on uh, an actual topographic map. All right. You see where this arrow is pointing to? There are actually two trig beacons here, all right? The one trig beacon is trig beacon station number 124, 
and the height above sea level there is 275.8 meters. The other trig uh, station or trig beacon station is station number 725 and the height above sea level there is 200 and looks like 289 or 269 um, meters above sea level. All right, I trust that this um, helps you with your revision and your preparation for the exam uh, or for the control test. Uh, please give it your best shot, guys, and good luck. I'll see you back at school.